Hello to my favorite scientists. I miss you so, so much. Um, I figured I would hop on here to uh, go over the moon phases, hence my moon phase shirt. Y'all can't escape my cringe. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> So we're gonna hop right in and talk about the moon's phases. So first thing we need to talk about is where does the moon get its light? Hmm, do you know where the moon gets its light? No, actually the moon does not get its light from itself. The moon has no light itself. Do, would you like to try that again? You're right, the sun, you're so smart. The sun is where our moon gets its light. We know that the moon gets its light from the sun. So why don't we see a full moon every day? Well, we need to talk about two concepts. The first one's rotation, and the second one is revolution. So for the first one, rotation. Rotation, I need you to make a T. Everyone make a T. Yep, you in your pajamas still laying in your bed, get up and make a T. All right, now I want you to spin around. Ooh. Okay, so we made a T for rotation. Get it? Rotation. All right, so we made a T. Rotation is when an object spins on its axis. So for example, the earth is rotating, it's spinning on its axis. Now we have revolution. So we make a V. We make a V with our arms and this makes me sad because I'm supposed to do it with a group. But um, you make a V, and I'm going to pretend like we're holding hands, and we revolve. And so for revolution, you need another person, another object for revolution. And so revolution is when an object revolves around another object. So the moon is revolving around the earth. So it's revolving around another object. So now that we know the difference between rotation and revolution, let's talk about why we see phases of the moon. So we know the moon revolves around the earth. So we're on earth, so we are only seeing the part of the moon that the sun is lighting up as it's revolving around the earth. So we could take a look at the different phases. of the moon where we can't see any part of the moon. This means the sun is not lighting up any part of the moon. We call that a new moon, which means you won't be able to see the moon if you look up into the night sky. Now, after the new moon, the moon is going to get larger from what we can see because right now you can't see anything. So after a new moon, a waxing crescent. Waxing means getting larger. Now, this doesn't mean the moon is actually growing. It just means what we can see from Earth is getting larger. So this right here is a waxing crescent. As you can see, the right side of the moon is being lit up. Waxing crescent. Now, after a waxing crescent, we are going to get what we call a first quarter. That means half of the moon is lit up and half of the moon is not lit up. Some of you may have heard it as a half moon, but we call it a first quarter. A first quarter is when the right side of the moon is lit up. After a first quarter, we have what we call a waxing gibbous. Now a waxing gibbous, again, waxing means what? Getting what? Good, getting larger. So we're seeing more and more of the moon. Now, a gibbous is where we can see almost all of the moon 
except for a little sliver or a little crescent. So this is what we call a waxing gibbous. After a waxing gibbous comes the full moon. This is where we can see the full part of the moon. Now, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. We actually can never see the full moon from Earth. What I mean by that is we only ever see one side of the moon. And why do we only ever see one part of the moon? Well, it's because the moon rotates and revolves at the same rate, meaning we only ever see this part of the moon. So you have to travel to the moon to see the other side, which wouldn't look like this. Which means a day on the moon is the same rate as a year on the moon. So after a full moon, it's going to get smaller. Now we said waxing means getting larger, but waning means getting smaller. So after a full moon, we get a waning gibbous. Again, waning means getting, good job, getting smaller. So in a waning moon, the left side of the moon is lit up as this dark side we cannot see. So this is what a waning gibbous looks like. After a waning gibbous, we get a third quarter. So a third quarter is just like the first quarter, but a third quarter has the left side of the moon lit up. Again, this is about half of the moon that we can see. After a third quarter, we have a waning crescent. Again, waning means getting smaller, so we're seeing less and less of the moon, and now we can see only a crescent. After the waning crescent, we're back to the new moon, and the cycle repeats. I know my students are already gonna be trolling me in the comments, so love ya. But I did want to say that I really do miss you guys so, so much. I wish we could be in our classroom making more memories um, as we're learning about astronomy. I love you guys so much and I can't wait till we can see each other again. Okay, go do your best of your digital learning and take a break and have fun and enjoy your life during these days.